Hey, how's it going? It's Wilgram13. Um, I can't explain that. I'm not a brony. I'm not a clopper. Um, they're my daughters. Yeah. Just kidding. Anyway, this is a uh, Top 3 Tuesday by, you know, EDT 1138. We all know him. And uh, this, this uh, Tuesday's question was um, brought to you and me by Dan's Game Corner. And the question is... Top, your top three games that are in need of a revival. Well, I have had a tough time trying to figure this one out because, you know, there's so many, just like everybody else's, and a, a lot of others of my choices, other people have picked, and all that good stuff. So anyway, number three would be, it's not too old, but, uh, you know, it's a PlayStation 2 title, and that's Bully. Um, I think this that there needs to be a Bully 2. This game I had so much fun with. Just as far as, uh, you know, you're this kid who's in a, uh, like a reform school or like a, I don't know, like a, no, actually like a higher class type of uh, school. But um, you're a pain in the ass. And basically what you have to do is you can build up your, uh, you know, it's kind of got like a, a level up system like an, an RPG kind of. But uh, like you can get better at chemistry so you can build better stink bombs and all sorts of stuff. It's a great game. And I don't know why Rockstar hasn't come up with a Bully 2, but um, it needs to be done. So, number three, Bully. Number two is a Super Nintendo game that I've loved from its inception. They definitely needed to do it too. Even, you know, today, if they did it with updated graphics, not, you know, they, which a lot of people can argue that, well, they did with Paper Mario. But that is a Super Mario RPG. Uh... The uh, Legend of the Seven Stars. This game is awesome. It is a Super Mario Brothers game with RPG elements. I mean, it's so great. It even has some action elements, too, just to kind of set things off a little different from the rest of the games in the genre of its time. But, um, great game. Highly recommend it. Uh, but, yeah, if they would come out with a new one uh, and just revive this series, not with a Paper Mario, not with any offset, just a Super Mario Brothers RPG. And they did a... Uh, I know on the uh, DS they have the Mario and Luigi, uh, you know, series, which is very reminiscent of this. You know, has a humor, has everything that this game has. But this needs to be resurrected for the Wii or the Wii U, whatever. Yeah, but anyway, it's uh, Super Mario Brothers RPG. And lastly, number one is a PC game, and uh, ironically, I just found this one, and uh, that is. I want it to be the same too. I want it to be for PC. I want it to be the same. I want it to have the same production that this has and the same writing and story. It has to be a text game, and that is the Zork series. I know they come out with a return to Zork in the early 90s. I bought it then. But it was a live action kind of kind of an adventure game with full motion video. Not like this. Not a text adventure. Not with this uh, humor that uh, this game has. But it's uh it's an amazing game. If anybody's played these text games, like, uh, I know there was one for uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Zork, and there was, um, there was some other ones that are just not coming to my head right off the top. But anyway, this right here is my number one, and I would love to have a new Zork, a new addition to the Zork series in text. And uh, I want it to come with the same production. Like, this comes with a, a big map. It comes with the big Legends and Lore book of Quendor. It comes with, it comes with all sorts of of uh, books about the mythology of Quendor. It is such a great packaged game that uh, they need to do it again. So anyway, thanks for watching. It's a great question. And uh, don't forget to check out games, but Dan's Game Corner, my bad. Don't forget to check out his channel. I subbed, and he's got a great channel. A lot of funny content. But uh, yeah, you guys take care. We'll see you next Tuesday. Ooh. Mellow Yellow. God, this stuff is the best. In, down here in Florida, we just don't find it too often, so, Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mellow Yellow. I'm telling you, for people who are out of the country, you know, who don't live in America, this stuff is basically like a Mountain Dew, but way better. Anyway, take care.